please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, How to implement a hit any key feature in Python. Introduction. The hit any key feature in Python allows you to pause your program's execution until the user presses any key on their keyboard. It can be useful in various applications, such as creating interactive command line programs or waiting for user input before proceeding. In this tutorial, we will show you how to implement this feature in Python with code examples. Requirements To follow this tutorial, you need to have Python installed on your system. This tutorial should work with Python 3.x, and it does not require any additional libraries. Code example Here is a step-by-step -step guide to implementing the hit any key feature in Python. Explanation We import the MSVCRT module, which provides a simple way to detect keyboard input on Windows systems. If you're using a different platform, you might need to use a different method for reading keyboard input. We define a function called hit underscore any underscore key, that displays a message and waits for any key press. Inside the hit underscore any underscore key, function, we print a message to instruct the user to press any key to continue. We use the msvcrt.getch, function to wait for keyboard input. This function will block program execution until a key is pressed. In the if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore block, we call the hit underscore any underscore key function, which pauses the program until a key is pressed. Once a key is pressed, the program continues to execute the following code. Note. If you are using a non-Windows platform, you might need to use a different library or approach to achieve the same functionality. You can explore libraries like Curses for Unix-based systems. Conclusion Implementing a hit any key feature in Python is a simple way to pause your program and wait for user input. In this tutorial, we demonstrated how to achieve this using the MSVCRT library on Windows. If you're working on a different platform, you may need to use platform-specific libraries or modules to achieve the same result. This feature can be helpful in creating interactive, 